hello and a huge welcome to this video i'm scorpion from how to do and today i will be showing you guys how to make npc in unity 3d just like uh, gta kind of like gta so this is the fifth part of our gta series all right so if you haven't seen the previous video go ahead click the link in the description box below and see them first so that is this guy right here is the npc all right as you can see so we will be making this in today's video let's get started uh, let me just jump back to our original scene so we were here in the previous video and okay there we go so for this video you will need a character I'm using this guy this one he's from mixmo.com alright the link for that site is in the description box below so this guy will be fully rigged and you have to just find some animation this whole folder I will give you this whole folder alright and here is a walking animation alright he walks in his place so what you need to do is you need to go to the animation go to rig and make sure it is generic and then in the animation you have to say loop time and loop pose alright so that will just make him walk in the same spot so we want that okay now what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and go to your player uh, the the this this guy and call him NPC and go ahead and add an FSM so if you don't see this you have to just go ahead click the link in the description box below download playmaker for free and import it and install it then you will find this component edit and here you need a, you need a plugin for the nav mesh so you need uh, these guys nav mesh and nav mesh agent so what how to do that is the link will be in the description box below you will need this uh, let me just show you the folder uh, this guy path finding the link will be in the description box below download it and double click it and then this uh, imported I have already imported it so it won't uh, import again uh, but you have to import it all right NPC and here what you need to do is you need to say uh, na agent set agent destination as game object all right you need this function set agent destination as game object double click that and go ahead and make another empty object bring it out we will call it destination if that's the spelling okay bring him here anywhere all right go back to your npc and drag and drop the npc uh, the destination over here destination so the game object will be yourself the user owner you use owner whatever uh, okay and then we need is uh, we need to go to the npc and say nav mesh uh, nav mesh agent all right do that and then you need to go to your uh, all of the map these these map objects environment and you have to select all of them the plane and I have these stairs so I will just uh, select them and then the the plane this plane and go ahead and make sure that they are static click this box and then you have to go to window navigation alright so here it is navigation and go to bake and click bake over here and it will bake all of this it's too big so let me just make it small and then bake again and there we go so this blue path you're seeing is where the uh, the this guy NPC guy can walk so now let's just play and see what is happening you can see immediately he starts moving uh, to the destination alright 
and we bring anywhere the destination he moved towards that and he avoids the obstacle all right you can see he avoids the obstacle and uh, follow the destination however the rotation is not good and he has to do the animation so how to do that go to the uh, NPC create animator controller we call it NPC and drag and drop to your NPC character right here this is the animator NPC and go to NPC and drag and drop the walking animation here we'll call it uh, walk all right and it's loop and loop pose so that will do it and now you can see that it should probably work correctly so he's walking there he go all right uh, sorry uh, bam he moves there he moves there there now we need to customize the nav mesh himself so first of all we need to make this uh, adjust that height increase the height such like that and then you have to decrease the speed little to 2.5 I guess and you have to increase the angular speed mm, too much like this much so this will give you the better results like he he will sharp he will turn sharply now you see it will be much better you can see he he turns quickly it's gone down to sorry uh, there we go so now he looks better right so the next thing we want is to change the position of uh, this before we do that we want to go to the edit uh, the FSM edit and say path uh, set agent path all right and the path specify game object and also the destination click that and then go to the destination and uh, let's just play and then and then come back NPC okay it needs some FSM nav mesh path this one FSM nav mesh path alright so you have to click that to make it work so now what we need to do is we need to adjust uh, this position of this uh, destination so we can simply do that by going and say add component say box collider in the destination and add a small box collider and adjust the size equal to this guy move it up and a little bigger kind of like that and make sure it's triggered so I have explained what is triggered in the previous video uh, in my previous video so it detects the player is inside or not let's just go to NPC and add a tag of uh, add tag just click that and say NPC PC save and then go back to NPC and add a tag of NPC here go to destination add component and say FSM edit and now what you need to do is you need to say trigger uh, where is trigger event come on and on trigger enter the tag of the player is NPC send event uh, new event it will be change position and you have to make a new state connect that with that and say random event alright and then I want to make some events so event 1 2 3 and yeah 3 add transition 1 2 and and 3 and add 3 states 1 will be 1 2 and 3 
so in these states what is happening is when the player uh, this NPC guy collides with this bo destination box then we will go in here and the playmaker will randomly execute any of these three states so it can be this this or either this and in here what we want to do is we want to set the position set new position of this destination so how to do that we will say set position all right and then we will say uh, sorry next frame event all right these two next frame event all right and then we will just copy paste uh, in the three of them so world set this to world okay now what we want to do is we want to take the destination bring it over here anywhere you want and then copy this x value in here uh, and then the y value uh, the z value in here all right so this will change the position from the uh, the destination from here to here all right i guess you are understanding then in here we want to change the position like uh, we can bring it over here all right and then copy paste copy paste and make sure it is world uh, okay and there the last one I want it to be somewhere over here so copy paste copy paste make sure it's world and that's that now we want all of these to come back uh, over here all right so let's just make transition finished 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 and go back over there there and back there and make sure you say finished finished and finished that's it so let me just show you what's happening uh, resize it so you will see that when I play the game uh, the player goes over there the NPC guy you just just watch these Uh, okay, it's not working So I guess the collider does not works here So we can change it a bit uh, Let's just make this one the start state delete this guy and come back here and We can say delay for three seconds So it will start it will delay for three seconds and it will execute some guy then come back three seconds and then come back three seconds and it will uh, just main the cycle take the destination bring it somewhere over there uh, like that just do that and it should work properly now you'll see he starts going there and then he walks there and then the position changes uh, there we go I guess the speed of this guy is too quick go back to NPC and I just added the capsule collider you can see here but it does not work even with the trigger so you can just increase or decrease the speed to 2 or you can say 1.5 alright and you can also decrease the speed here the delay uh, come on 2.5 so that will work and it depends on you how much you uh, how much uh, points you want to add alright so you can add as many points uh, as many positions you want this guy to move so this guy will walk and you can see that even if I add a quickly some obstacles uh, there 
uh, but make sure you have to uh, set it to static so do that uh, add some here some one over there control G control G and just quickly add some some of these and go back to navigation and make sure you have to just go ahead and bake it again because it will bake it again like that and and then you will see he avoids all of these obstacles you can see there he moves around just like that avoiding the obstacles alright so that's it hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do uh, if you want you can also donate me some money through PayPal the link will be in the description box below if you want to see the previous videos of GTA series go ahead click the link in the description box below and yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video <laughs> he's walking here and there